Question 10. The table shows the distribution of ages of a number of children in a school. If the mean of the distribution is 7, find the A, the value of X, B, standard deviation of their ages. Solution. Arithmetic mean x bar is equals to sum of f of x all over sum of f. So we have that. Now arithmetic mean from the equation is given as 7. So we have 7 equals to. Now sum of f of x means we are going to multiply uh, our f times our x. Then we add up the next column. So we continue like that. That would be 2 times 3 plus the next one 6 times 4 so 6 times 4 we add up the next one we have 5 times 5 the next one we have x times 6 move over to the next one plus we have 7 times 6 next one or 6 times 7 they are still commutative because multiplication is commutative so we have the next one, 9 times 8. The next one, we have 8 times 9. And uh, the last one there, okay, let me put it here. Plus, we have uh, 5 times 10. So that will go there. 5 times 10. Or better say, let me bring it here. 5 times 10. So we have this here. So that is better here. So all over, everything over. Now the sum of f, sum of f, this is sum of f. So the number of children, uh, we have that to be our f, the frequency. Now you can see that two children are age three, six children are age four. That is why the frequency is this number of children, not the ages, okay? Not the ages. So the number of children that are three is two. So th that is what I mean, that is the frequency there. So, our frequency will be the sum of this. So we have this. Sum of frequency will be that. 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus x plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5. So we have that. Our 7 will be equals to. 7 will be equals to. We multiply this out. 2 times 3 we have 6 plus 6 times 4 we have 24 plus 5 times 5, we have 25, plus x times 6, we have 6x, plus uh, 7 times 6, we have 42, 7 times 6, we have uh, 42, dear, plus 9 times 8, we have 72, plus 8 times 9, we have 72 as well, plus 5 times 10, we have 50. Now, everything all over. 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5. When you add up that correctly, you have 41. Plus our x. We have x down here. So, plus the x we have there. So, we move on. We now have our 7 is equals to. Now, add up this. 6 plus 24. You add up everything. 6 plus 24 plus uh, 42 plus 25 all that all the numbers add up all the numbers excluding the 6x when you do that correctly you have 291 plus our 6x there yeah. all over we have our 41 plus 41 plus our x let's make this over one so we cross multiply seven times this one time this so one time the whole of this we have two 9 1 plus 6 x 7 times this that will be equals to 7 let's just rewrite this 7 times 41 plus x so let's write that so we have our 2 9 1 plus 6 x equals to 7 times 41 we have 2 8 1 plus 7 times x we have x so that we let's move this 2 8 1 over to this side we have 2 9 1 minus 2, 8, 1. Remember, it's positive. When it's crossing, it becomes negative. So we have our, this is 7x, 7x we have there. We have our 7x 
this is plus 6x crossing over it become minus 6x okay so 291 minus 281 if you do that you have a 4 equals to x 7x minus 6x you have 1x which is the same as x so therefore our x is equals to 4 so our x is equals to 4 note that that is the answer that was required of us for question a the B part of the equation, we are asked to get the standard deviation of their ages. Now, standard, standard deviation is equals to square root of is equals to square root of f of x or uh, sum of f into x minus x bar square now all over sum of f so that is the formula for standard deviation so if you see that from this formula we have to create a table we have to create a table from here so we have x in that table we have x there so from there we can create a table we have x there so let me rule this we have x we have f we have uh, another thing there we have x minus x bar so let's create a table for that we have x minus x bar square so that that will take us close to where we are going to then we have f times x minus x bar square so we have that okay that is better now now we start let's fill up this x and f our x when x is 3 f is 2 so we fill up that when x is 4 f is 6 we fill up that when uh, x is 5 f is 5 fill up that i think i need to extend this let me extend this further Now, when x is 6, f is f, is x rather. When x is 7, f is 6. We have that. When x is 8, f is 9. We have that. So we extend again. We need to extend this again. Okay, we have done that 8 and 9 so 9 when x is 9 f is 8 we have this and the last row when x is 10 f is 5 so we have this this 5 we have this so we can as well extend this because we need to do something down there we can extend this but we need to do something down there so Okay, we have this so we can close up this to make our table more neat. So use a ruler to draw that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just using a marker to make it more bold so that you can see. Now let's go to this. Our x bar, don't forget our x bar is this our mean. The mean is our x bar. Let me write it here, which is equals to 7. So this is our mean. Don't forget that. So I have to bring it up there. Now we go on our x minus x bar. Our x bar is 7, our x here is 3. So 3 minus 7, we have minus 4. 4 minus 7, minus 3. 5 minus 7, minus 2. 6 minus 7, minus 1. 7 minus 7, 0. 8 minus 7 is 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 10 minus 7 is 3. So we have that. Now the square of this. This is x minus x bar squared. So the square of this, that was why we arranged the table this way. The square of this will give us this. So we have minus 4 square is 16. That is minus 4 times minus 4. So minus 9 square is, minus 3 square rather is 9. Minus 2 square is 4. 
minus one square is one, uh, zero square is zero, one square is one, two square is four, and three square is nine. Let's go over to this. That is our f times this. So our f, we have our f here times this will give us this. Our f times this will give us this. So that is 2 times 16 is 32. 6 times 9. 6 times 9 is 54. 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, this this place we let's correct this because this is x. We already have a value of x to be 4. So let's substitute that. That is 4. So that we calculated that already. So this is 4. So 4 times 1, we have 4, okay? 6 times 0, 6 times 0, we have 0. 9 times 1, we have 9. 8 times 4, we have 32. And 5 times 9, we have 45. We have 45. So with that, we are done filling the table. Now, if you go back to our formula, we'll be needing some of f of this we'll be needing this last one sum of this sum of f of x minus x bar square we'll be needing this and this is equals to let's sum of this 32 plus 54 plus 20 plus 4 plus 0 plus 9 plus 32 and plus 45 that will give us 196 now if you check down we'll be needing sum of We'll be needing sum of uh, f, sum of f. So let's locate sum of f. So this is f, then we sum it. So that will give us sum of f. Sum of f, if you sum 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5, will give you 45. 45. So we have 45 there. That is what we have for those points. The next thing, we are going to substitute these values into the formula and we are good to go. Okay, don't forget we had this and our formula, I just had to rewrite that so that we will follow what we are doing. So therefore, our standard deviation SD will be equals to, now already we got this from the tables, the table we prepared. So this, we substitute the value of this, so that is square root of 196 for this, all over sum of F, which is 45. So if you solve that, we have square root of 196 divided by 45. Let's just take it to four decimal place. That will be 4.3556. So when we do that, that will be equals to 2.087. 2.087 approximately. So we have this as our answer for standard deviation as requested. So that is it for this question. See you again when we solve the next question.